Hi everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we're looking at a beautiful pair of 2021 Peterbilt 389s in Omaha Orange. These are two custom trucks that we ordered for uh, Sam Ball and Manny Singh. Sam lives right here in Mansfield, Texas. And Manny is all the way out from California. These two buddies spent a lot of time specking out their trucks the right way, getting all the custom items done the exact way that they wanted. And man, I am so proud of how these trucks turned out and I'm so proud to be uh, been able to uh, be of service to these great guys. Uh, as I said, these colors are called Omaha Orange and we did the matching Omaha Orange painted frame. One thing we love here in Texas is our mild winters. And you know what? On any other day, I'd be really disappointed that it's cold and overcast. Still disappointed that it's cold, but the overcast is gonna be able to highlight something really cool with these lights here in just a little bit. Let's talk about the spec on these trucks. Again, 2021 Peterbilt 389s with 78 inch sleepers. Um, both of them have the short sleeper extenders, 280 inch wheelbase. Got the Cummins X15 Performance Series engine with that 565 horsepower and ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, 20, 50 pound feet of torque. Uh, if you've seen the video for uh, Harry, uh, his Omaha Orange 2021 Peterbilt 389, this is uh, part of the same group of friends that order these trucks together. So obviously the specs are pretty similar. Um, these trucks are paired to an Eaton Fuller 18-speed manual transmission. Just some really, really cool trucks that we did some really cool custom features in. Uh, one thing you've heard me say that I love about trucking is everyone has their own unique definition of cool. And what really matters is the driver, the guy who owns that truck, the guy who's making money in it. As long as he thinks it's cool, man, that's what's most important. And although these three guys ordered their trucks together, they each did something a little unique that set their uh, truck apart from the others. And man, I just really love that about these trucks, that they're very similar, but have some really unique features that set them apart. Um, let's talk about uh, Manny's truck right here, or uh, also for his dad, Mr. Hardev Chahal. A couple things that we did the same on both of these trucks is we did a 20 inch bumper with the uh, American Eagle wheel cut to match the, uh, the wheel well right there. We also did the uh, seven bars on the grill. So it comes from the factory with three and we added four for a total of seven. We've also got LED, bla back, uh, <laughs> LED blacked out headlights on this truck. Sam's gonna buy the LED headlights and hook them up himself and we painted the uh, headlight housing. I think it's really cool just to part, paint this part right here so you st still get a match, a mix of the uh, chrome and the paint. Obviously we've got the uh, Dynaflex eight inch monster exhaust with the 60 inch tips. These are the uh, flat tips for Manny's and Sam got the 60 inch miter tips. We went with a seven marker lights on the roof, added a train horn, clear lenses. You've got the stainless steel breather panels with a three quarter inch penny bullet lights, aerodynamic side mirrors. Special shout out to uh, Derek Pierce with Nugen for hooking us up with the uh, paintable drop visors and these amazingly radical window chops for the cab and sleeper, those turned out amazing. If you don't know about Derek at uh, New Gen in Louisiana, now you know he can basically put any imagination of yours into reality. We've got the Phoenix Designs six and a half inch painted lights panels with the underglow lights. Painted fuel tanks. We did the uh, stainless steel panels on both the battery and DPF box and the toolboxes for Manny's truck. We've also got the uh, Hodge built low rider premium stainless steel half fenders. 
went with a Merit aluminum deck plate and we painted it and it turned out awesome. One thing that's nice about this Merit deck plate is it's sectional so you can really choose exactly how long you want it to be. If you want it to cover up this whole area right here, you can. If you only want a little bit of sections right here, uh, it's aluminum. Um, since it is aluminum, we are able to paint it and we are we were able to put uh, the uh, pogo stick air and electric lines right up there very nicely up against the back of the sleeper. Short sleeper extenders. We do have deck plate access on both sides. We do have the grab handles. We've got the uh, round backup and tail lights LED bracket mounted below the frame. So if Manny wants to add a custom light bar, it's very easy for him to take that out and put the, uh, the light bar on there. Got Bridgestone Low Pro 24 uh, 5 tires all the way around, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes with the Peterbilt ovals. Just show you the attention to detail when it comes to painting the tanks that our body shop does. You have the option to paint the whole tanks or leave the front and the rear polished. Uh, it's totally up to you. Uh, you can also paint these straps. I really like leaving the straps chrome to show a little bit of contrast myself. And one thing that's really trick that we like to do is on this death cover, we tape up those two stripes right there. So it looks like it's got straps just like on the fuel tanks. Here's a look at your Dynaflex True 8 inch dual exhaust with your Kisling battery disconnect switch. You can see that Man, that is a beefy bracket that Dynaflex provides for that custom exhaust. And again, the big six and a half inch light panels. Turns out awesome. We went with the uh, aerodynamic side mirrors. You've heard me say before that I love how these look from up front. I don't love how much the spot mirror sticks out. It is a little frustrating. We went with the uh, Saharan tan interior, which I think was a really good call for the uh, Omaha orange. This truck came in weighing at 18,546 pounds from the factory. Manny went with the uh, Peterbilt premium leather ultra ride seats to give him the swing back armrests. He's got 52 miles on the ticker, so he will be the first person to sneeze in it. And one thing that I really like that he did is we went with the Pride and Class steering wheel on this truck. And I think that turned out just awesome. Love just the classic look with the uh, horn button right there. Took us a while to get this from uh, Packard Parts, but man, it was worth the wait. The grip on it is really, really nice. It has the little uh, finger notches going along the back of it. So gripping it just feels really good. One thing that we did is we went with all gauges on the B panel for that classic old school look. And this truck was custom built for Mr. Chahal. Congratulations, you guys. So happy to help you. You always heard me say that this is the best view in trucking. And with this, uh, I think it's a reverse bow tie drop visor. Man, that looks amazing. The best view in trucking only enhanced. <laughs> As you can see on our drop visors, whenever we uh, paint them, we don't just paint the outside, we paint the inside of it as well. Spect it with a CB radio from the factory so you get this housing. single bunk with the additional storage cabinets. Of course, we spec it with a premium mattress. Plenty of storage space at the base of the bed with little trays and cup holder. Manny had us install a inverter and we installed a plug right here as well. Not sure if that's really showing up on the camera. 
little dark in here. There's a look at your inverter right there. That's a Cobra 2500 watt inverter. Fits very nicely in the speaker area. Of course, this truck is specced with premium speakers for the cab and sleeper. Hazard triangles, tow pins, and fire extinguisher all mounted right there. Your rear AC system with the uh, filter release to swap out. You've heard me say before, don't let the service department charge you for labor to swap out that filter. It takes you 30 seconds to change yourself. And coming in handy ni very nicely today, this truck is specced with an S-Bar bunk heater. Love that classic all gauge look. Now let's take a look at a couple of things that differentiated the two trucks. Again, uh, Sam went with the uh, 60 inch miter tips where Manny went with the 68 inch, I'm sorry, the 60 inch flat tops. Some people call them the stove pipes. Either way, they look great. And again, everyone's unique opinion of what, what is cool is what's great about trucking. Sam is planning on swapping out those headlights to the blacked out LED ones, but he wants to do it himself. And I can appreciate that. Sam Hall's reefer. So he didn't feel the need for the additional toolboxes. Uh, only went with the uh, Hodge built, I say only. These are the nicest quarter fenders you can get from the factory. These are the uh, Hodge built premium 304 mirror stainless steel 30 inch quarter fenders. Again, these are the nicest quarter fenders that you can get from the factory. I think he does have something in mind for that later though. Since we didn't do any toolboxes, we didn't have to do any deck plate access. So there's no grab handles on the back of the sleeper, which makes it look really clean. Still on a 280 inch wheelbase. And without those toolboxes, this truck weighed in at 18,366 pounds. So we saved about 180 pounds going without the toolboxes. Again, with the uh, Peterbilt Premium Leather Ultra Ride seats. So we got the swing back armrests. He's gonna put a custom steering wheel and a custom shifter knob on there. Custom ordered for Souk Ball. Again, congratulations. Somehow Sam's only got 45 miles in on his. So maybe somebody did already sneeze in mayonnaise. Probably not though. Both of them went with the uh, Saharan tan interior, single bunk with the additional storage cabinets. And of course we've got our fridge from the factory. Take a look underneath the hood. <clears throat> of course, our all aluminum hood makes it very easy to open and close our hood, find any minor issues before they become major ones. And there's a look at our beautiful Cummins X15 performance series engine, 565 horsepower. 2050 pound feet of torque. We've got the uh, Davco 382 upgraded fuel water separator, remote lube points, greasable front springs, and that ride like a cloud, air ride front suspension. And of course, these trucks are both specced with all aluminum wheels and all disc brakes.
Now, some of you may already know, but there's something in store for that little black box right there. And I'm fixing to show you. All right, some cool stuff coming up next. Dropping the front steer axle. Going a little slow because it's cold out today. Turn on all your chicken lights. And are you ready for this? Your dual revolutions. All purple. One thing that's really cool about the dual revolution lights is you don't even have to have your parking lights on and those will come on. So we made this very simple to operate. We added an additional switch for the uh, front suspension dump and label labeled it front suspension. All you have to do is just flip one switch and it goes down that quickly. All your uh, DOT legal Chicken lights are going to be controlled with this switch right here that says amber. And when I want to switch it to uh, the dual revolution purple, flip this switch right here that says purple. Literally that easy. One thing that's nice about the uh, dual revolution lights is if, even if I don't want to have my parking lights on, I can still have my DOT or my <laughs> dual revolution lights on with that purple switch. You can even see kind of right there in the reflection or through the mirror or through the window that the purple light is on, even though I, I don't even have the uh, chicken lights or the accessory mode on. Show this to you again. Flip the front suspension switch. And it drops that quick before I can even get the camera on it. Going back up. Goes a little bit quicker with the engine running, so the compressor's running. Go ahead and get that started. And then flip the switch back. And she starts rising that quickly. Ready to roll. Here's a look at the uh, DOT legal lights. Of course, everything forward facing is gonna be amber. Manny did the lights inside of the breathers amber to match. And of course, everything facing rearward is gonna be red. We even did the red LED load lights. Those are also dual revolution. Love how the light is bouncing off those tanks and the step with the six and a half inch panel that obviously gets closer so the reflection shines off on them a whole lot more. Next up, the fun purple. Now that we're laying low and laying right, I wanna show off these awesome dual revolution lights. orange and the purple is just an awesome color combination. Really turned out great. And we didn't skimp 
on the load lights in the back. Those are also dual revolution. So going down the road, DOT legal is red. And flip it to the dual revolution purple. Manny went with the lights inside the breathers, too. Tell me that does not look awesome. And there goes Manny Singh and his dad, Mr. Hardev Chahal, in their brand new Omaha Orange 2021 Peterbilt 389. Their company is GS Carriers Inc. out of Cirrus, California. And here goes Manny Singh and Mr. Hardev Chahal on their maiden voyage back to Cirrus, California. It's probably the coldest day this winter. My hands are probably shaking holding the camera. But man, it's a beautiful day. Anytime you're taking home your new Pete 389. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. Flipping everything over to DOT legal on those lights. God bless and happy trucking. Shamir, 